Today we want to show you how to balance a Brunton compass. A recent customer had a frustration where they'd actually bought one of these Brunton compasses from a retailer in, in the US and when they brought it over to Australia it was out of balance. They had to ship it back to Brunton who then shipped it back to them. Today I want to show you how you can actually do that yourself without the need of shipping back to Brunton. So here we've got two different compasses. You've got a traditional compass, in this case it's a Freiburg, and the Brunton which we're talking about today. Now before we go too much further with that balancing, point to note is traditionally Brunton have liked to do this balancing in-house from a viewpoint of the warranty protection for the first year, but also making sure it's done right. So this may not be the official message from Brunton, but it could be useful for you. This video will be focused on balancing the Brunton compass, but we brought in a Freiburg compass just out of comparison. You can see how people are used to balancing this. You'll notice a copper wire on the needle there, which is used to slide up and down, and that's what balances a traditional compass. So here's the basic tools. You've got your compass, you've got a flathead screwdriver, as small as possible, and sticky tape, which you want to tear a piece of sticky tape off it. Now what we find is these compasses can vary from compass to compass in the hardness to get out the initial part which is this outer metal ring. Some have a gap in the ring here which makes it easier to pry out. So for this demonstration I've picked a difficult one from stock. Okay so first thing is to get this metal o-ring out. What you want to do is next to where the ring joins here, you want to get a screwdriver in the gap. You just want to work away at that until it pops out and pry it off like so. One thing you want to be very careful of is if you turn it upside down, it's a flat surface on the bottom and that's the flat surface that goes against the glass. You put that down and you put that aside. Okay, so with the outer metal ring removed, you take your sticky tape, press it against the glass, and pull the glass off. You can just set that aside. Now, at times the zero ring and this um, O-ring will actually come stuck to the glass, but you just put that aside too. Now you can see the internals of the compass. So essentially you've got the needle, which you can pull off. Now, one of the big reasons why you want to use your sticky tape to take the glass off is you've got all the very small delicate items like this little bush inside which if you turn it upside down and lose it it's going to render your compass useless so that's the reason why we recommend the sticky tape so once you pulled your your needle off um, you essentially to balance it you want to bend the south or north arms up or down depending on how it sits in the compass when you place it in there. As you can see I've actually don't have the compass unlocked so on the back before you do this you want to unlock the compass using that latch on the back corner. Now if I put it back in there you'll notice the compass is swinging freely. So essentially what I want to do is balance that south and the north with the azimuth reading at each end and to make sure that's really flush both sides. So as I said, literally get that and you push it up that whole needle or down depending on how you want it balanced and what region of the world you're in. Place that back into the compass. You get your zero ring. Make sure that the lip is face on the up so that's where the o-ring sits now that goes the arrow goes where the zero is put your o-ring back in like so you may need to just make sure it's in there place your glass back in the compass You can see I haven't pushed that o-ring down properly all the way around 
So just make sure it's in all the way around the perimeter. Put your glass back in. Should sit in there nice and easily. Now there's the interesting part when it comes to the metal ring that holds it all together. So. Feed in your initial part and then feed it in around the compass, like so. Now one thing you notice here is, as we put the metal ring back in, it overlaps a bit here. So what we want to do is grab our screwdriver and just work at it from this angle, pushing on the end off the ring and pushing it till it falls back in place. One thing you do want to do is push on this side of the ring, the opposite side to where you put it in. Um, and that means that the ring is located evenly all the way round. So when you come to put it back out, it's easy to get your screwdriver back in.